Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi and thanks so much for clicking to watch another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on the locks that I've already combined as well as combine a few more locks. Um, maybe two more, we'll know, we'll see. But if you're interested in seeing me do that, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so first things first, an update on the four, no, the eight locks that I combined. I think it was like, over a week ago at this point, maybe two weeks ago, I'll link the video that I'm talking about um, either in the cards or below in the description box. But um, I did combine some locks um, over, I know it was over a month ago at least. Just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on how they look now. So I know there were two on this side. Let me find both. Um, here they go. So here's both of the ones that I combined on this side. So I'll start with these two first because these are the, these are the ones that I locked or kind of like insta locked on the end so these don't have rubber, band, rubber bands on them um and they're not coming apart i haven't touched them up i haven't had to like crochet them back together they haven't come unraveled and i've washed my hair several times um after i combined them so this is how they look hopefully you guys can see them up close you can still of course see the two strand twist that i did the roots are pretty much um together more so than the length of the hair but um, I know for sure, because I looked at them the other day, but I can still kind of get like a fingernail through the um, the twist. So they're not locked or anything like that. And I might go through and insta-lock them. I don't know. I wanted to try my hand at that. But yeah, so that's the update on these two. Like I said, the ends haven't came unraveled or anything at all. And then the two on this side. Let's see. Yep, got them. Um, these have rubber bands on the end, so they pretty much look the same as the other ones. The two, um, the roots are kind of locked together more so, and they're nice and thick, which is what I like. And then the ends do have rubber bands on them, so you guys can see the rubber bands. And this one, no, is it this one? Yeah, this one is super thick at the end, like this one is super, super thick. Um, and then again, on this side, I can, I can pretty much get my you know like my fingernail through it um so they're not locked or anything at all and i'm probably going to take the rubber bands out for these two and then just do them like i did on the other side because i don't know i feel like the rubber bands was kind of unnecessary unless you don't want to go through like insta locking your hair which is perfectly fine but um i kind of felt comfortable with at least doing the ends so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll actually do that now so you guys can see what i'm doing or at least we can see um so at least like two months or however long it's been we can see if that made a difference with the ends of the lock versus just locking them at the beginning so i might have to hold on let me go to the bathroom and get some scissors okay so i'm back and i got some scissors to like cut the rubber band so i'm just kind of gonna pull it i'm trying to be gentle <laughs> but i'm gonna just pull it off yep there we go and see how it looks it's kind of it feels dented i have like a my mirror right here to see but it feels yeah there's like a dent in it where the where the rubber band was and hopefully you guys can see what i'm talking about it's like a dent like you can see there was a rubber band here and then the end of it which i kind of don't like that that happened um I can probably insta lock it. Let me feel and see if it's locked together. Oh, it is. It's kind of fused together, but not really. Like, I can easily split these apart still. So, yeah, let me go ahead and grab my the little crochet tool. Um, I will leave this in the description box too. It's just a crochet tool, and I'm using the 0.5 millimeter one. So, this is how they look. Um, crochet needle. And I'm just gonna take this and pretty much seal up the ends. And so again, if you haven't watched that like combination, like me combining my locks video, I pretty much go into depth about what I'm doing. But I'm insta-locking it. I'm using the hook on the end of the um, tool to pretty much go in and out to kind of mingle the hairs together or lock the hairs together. So I'm going in and out pretty fast. If you guys are doing this, please be careful because this needle is very sharp. I stabbed myself several times and it hurts. It does hurt, so please be careful. I'm kind of going down at an angle. So I'm gonna do this for a little bit and then we're gonna do the other one. Okay, so I've 
done that for a little bit. I just wanna see how it's looking. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Hopefully you guys can see that as well. I kind of cleaned up the dent. That's what I was trying to do while um, locking the ends together, but it looks good. It looks like it's one continuous lock, aside from the two strand twist, but yeah, it looks good. You gotta have faith in yourself. I'm always like a DIY person. If I can't do it myself, then I kind of just won't do it. <laughs> but look at that, that looks good to me. I just can't wait until the two strand twist kind of goes away, but yeah, so let me go ahead and do it to the other one. Okay, so before I crocheted the end of this one, I did just wanna show you guys how it looks after I take the rubber band off. If I can get it off, <laughs> I cut this one too. So, okay, there we go. So yeah, I just want to show you guys how this one was looking after I cut it off. So this one, maybe I should do this in the bathroom. I don't know. Um, but this one doesn't look that bad. Like I can kind of see a dent in it, but not really. Definitely not as bad as the other one. Um, let me see if I can separate it or if it's kind of tangled. Oh. This one actually locked more than the other one. So I'm just lightly pressing my fingernail through it to see if I can separate it easily and I can't. Yeah, it's definitely, it was definitely fusing together at the end. So um, if you do choose to use rubber bands, of course, like eventually they are going to, um, you know, connect with each other. But I do kind of see a gap. They're not fused all the way, but they're definitely um, like stuck together. Like it's not like you can easily see them apart. So um, I am, again, like I said, just gonna crochet the ends. So now all the ends of the um, combined locks are closed. So now on to the new locks that I want to combine. And I know for sure, I might just do two in this video just to show you guys like what I'm gonna do. Um, Cause I think I wanna try to insta-lock these two. Um, and if it goes wrong, then I don't know. I've watched a couple of videos on people insta-locking um, their locks and I'm just going to give it a try. So I'm going to do these two locks right here. And to me, like since they're on the edge of my hair, the edges of my hair are thinner than the um, like the center of my head or the back of my head. So if you guys can see this one, like I don't like how thin this root has become or how um, it's like less hair, I guess. Um, for me and I want my locks to be thick like I would rather be thicker than um, a little bit on the smaller or thinner side and so I feel like um, this lock egg if I leave it alone there's too much weight hanging on this little like this little root right here um, so I was kind of trying to get ahead of it and again the thicker the better for me so I was like if I combine them it can never be too thick so I just wanted to combine this one here for sure so yeah let's go ahead and do it okay so first thing I'm going to do is um, kind of define my parts as you guys can see I haven't had a retwist in forever so roots are super puffy I'm gonna retwist it uh, in November so I'm gonna just define my parts and I'm actually going to let me do that in the bathroom and I'll be right back alrighty so I am back and I defined my part as best as I can if you guys have been watching my channel for a while um, you will already know that I'm really not that particular about my parts I really don't care if they're like super neat and precise or anything like that I just personally don't um, so yeah this is the best I could do I'll show you guys how it is looking so it'll be these two sections right here and it'll look like that so I kind of tried to put my hair I forgot my ponytail holder so oh well because I would have put my hair up but um so yeah so here are the two locks that I want to combine and I think I'm going to start off the same way that I did with the other four that I combined um I'm just gonna basically marry or like intertwine the roots so I'm gonna take Let's take this lock here and then put it inside of the other one. So, let's see, I think I wanna go that way. So I'm just gonna go in between this one, make sure the hook is open, and I am going to hook the root of this lock in, close the, the little clasp, and then pull it through this one. Hopefully, and you want to do this gently, <laughs> don't want to pull anything. And once I think I got it through, I'm going to unhook it from the clasp. And then I'm just going to gently pull it through the other lock, just like that. So now we have one. That's like step one. Like confession time, like little insert that doesn't have anything to do with anything. But I feel like I kind of want to go through my head and combine a bunch more locks. 
because I just want, I just, I don't know, like I, I want them to be thicker. Like the, the, the locks I have now, granted they are thick and it's a really nice size, but I want them to be bigger. <laughs> so this is kind of like my step where I do like some every so often and just combine some. So yeah, you don't be surprised if you guys see another combination lock or thicker lock video in the future. You know, just a little insert. Anyway, back to what I was doing. All right, so here is the new base for this one lock. I'm gonna start by twisting the two locks together. I'm gonna try to get it in the middle as much as I can. Again, I don't really care how they look. I just, I don't know. I guess it's in the front of my head, so I'm taking a little bit of extra care with how they look, but in reality, I mean, when they lock, it's gonna be fine, I promise. <laughs> so here's how it's looking after I just combine them together. Um, yeah, I think I wanna start, again, with my crochet tool. I think I wanna start at the bottom and at least lock up the bottom, kinda like combine the two ends of the lock. So let's get started. shoulders hurting okay so I've gotten probably like I don't know like not even a half probably like I don't know a third of the way through this lock and I think I'm gonna leave the rest of it alone um which I could go up the whole thing but it's kind of time consuming so if you plan on insta locking or combining any of your locks via insta lock it does take a while I don't regret doing that um like maybe I should just finish it um all the way through and make it be consistent but I think the rest of this should look okay. If anything, you can barely tell that it's too strand twisted. I mean, you can still tell, but at least it's not like that much of a difference, especially my hair being in the front. Like it's it's really not that bad. So here is how, again, how it looks um, so far from what I did. Make sure you guys can see that. So there's the end of the lock. And I pretty much um, insta locked it up until right here. And then this is where the two strand twist carries on. And then again, this is the root of the new lock. So that's how that looks. And yeah, I'm just gonna lay it down. It's not that bad. Maybe, I don't know, you guys might come back to another video and I might have insta-locked this one, I don't know. I don't know, but for right now, I'm gonna leave it like that um, just to get it started off. So yeah, I think that's the only thing I'm gonna combine today. And again, if I do decide to combine any more of my locks, like I said, I'll probably do these for knowing me. Um, keep up with me on Instagram. I post on Instagram um, way more, especially on my stories, more than I do on here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, if you're curious to see how they're looking or curious to see which ones I ended up combining or whatever is new with my hair, then just go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And that is all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. But as always, thanks so much for clicking to watch another video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.